In today's brief tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about triturations. A trituration is simply a way to measure a very small amount of drug. Sometimes when creating compounded pharmaceutical products, the amount of drug that you need to weigh is smaller than what our commercial balances can actually measure accurately. So in order to measure that accurate amount, active drug gets dispersed into some sort of inert solid, usually lactose, and that allows you to then measure a larger amount containing the smaller amount of active drug that you need when you compound the product. So when you see calculations problems with triturations, they're always going to be expressed as a ratio. For example, you'll be told that a trituration of a 1 to 12 is available. So what's important to know about this is this is a ratio, so you can choose your units. You can choose milligram to milligram or gram to gram. But then you need to make sure you keep straight which part is the drug and which part is the trituration. So in this case, what's important to know is the smaller number is always going to represent the drug. The larger number is going to represent the trituration. So with this in mind, let's go ahead and look at two examples. In this first problem, we're being asked how many grams of a 1 to 10 trituration are needed to obtain 25 milligrams of drug. I find that the best way to solve these problems is to label my units carefully so that I don't get mixed up. So in this case, let's start with what we want. We want 25 milligrams, and I'm going to label it of drug, and our source is this trituration. So remember, with the trituration, the smaller number is always the drug, and so for those to cancel out, we're going to put one milligram of drug on the bottom, and the amount of trituration is 10 milligrams, and that's of the trituration. So I've used the, the yellow text to kind of show that. So when you solve for this, you simply solve for 250 milligrams, and that's how much trituration. Now one thing you have to realize is the problem does ask for you to answer in grams, so the real answer of this problem is 0 0.25 grams. So let's look at one other example. In this case, we're being asked to use a 1 to 25 trituration of saccharin to make 30 mils of a solution containing 2 milligrams in each mil. So again, the first part is figuring out, well, how much drug do we need? Well, if we have 30 mils of solution and we need there to be 2 milligrams of drug, and again, I'm going to use my little labels per mil, then we can use our source of our trituration. And again, we can use milligrams because our trituration is a ratio. So for every one milligram of drug in that trituration, we're going to have 25 milligrams of the actual trituration itself. And so again, in solving for this, we're going to find that this ends up being 1,500 milligrams of the trituration. But because we're being asked for an answer in grams, we're going to double check back, and we're going to convert that to 1.5 grams. So that's all it is for trituration problems. It's really that simple. So in order to be successful, label your weights. As you saw me doing, I was labeling whether I was talking about milligrams or grams of the drug and milligrams or grams of the trituration. That's going to make sure you use the ratio correctly in your solution. From that, you should be able to practice some problems in the book without any problems.